Microcasting for your city. Talk Talkopolis. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Also by Nashville Violins, the string player's number one choice for their string instrument needs. Nashville Violins offers everything from lessons to repairs. Make sure you check them out at NashvilleViolin.com. Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Or afternoon or whenever, or whenever. you're watching yeah. this. Welcome to Music Business Daily. I'm Greta Gaines. I'm Kelsey Manning. Good to have you here. We're going to talk about the hottest music headlines. We are also might sing Gangnam Style a few times during today's can't, show. I can't sing Gangnam Style. I can dance it, though. I have the rodeo move. <laughs> Since my eight-year-old watches it 95 times a day, I've, there gotten, you go. I've gotten better. You've gotten much better. I have the physique, though. You're ready yeah, for it. Yeah, I can rock that <laughs> particular kind <laughs> of dance style. <laughs> Like kind of a tummy, yeah, and a tuxedo. All right, and I have both of those things. There you go. So that's and you're I, set. And I, and I used to ride rodeo. There you go. So I can do these. I can so, do these sideways moves. Ooh, you're getting the chair in there. <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> Gangnam <good>. style? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It's like one part of it. We're not even talking about that today, but I love it. We are going to talk about Coldplay, and we're going to talk about Willie Nelson, and we're going to talk about Kelly Pickler. So let's start with Coldplay. Okay. They are just you know on the cusp of doing something new, which is a comic series with their album that I feel like has they've been promoting forever. Milo Zylado has been out, but they, starting in February, are releasing like a big marketing stunt is what they're calling it. A comic book. It's a comic series, but it's a book. I don't know if it'll be a book, but it's supposed to be online. Yeah, it'll be an online book. Book. <laughs> an online book, but they, it's starting with their Hurts Like Heaven single. They've released the video for it. Does Heaven Hurt? Uh, it apparently are does. Are they asking the big questions? They Coldplay are. They want to know. <laughs> they want to know. But it's like it has all these different graffiti-looking things in it. So I don't know. They it's going to be released. Yeah, and oh, it, it, apparently it's going to release to Bongo Comics, and pre-orders are available now. So so what's the, so what's the deal? If you buy the album, you get this too, or this is totally separate. I think it's totally separate. Okay, but it's another promotional Lady Gaga deal. did that, right? We yeah. talked about that. She yeah. has all this extra bonus material that you can buy in addition. Bonus material has become an entire you know industry. It has. Yeah. Yeah. So it used to just be the stuff that was like barely good enough to make it on your album. <laughs> exactly. Now it's like a whole media package. Mm -hmm. Hurts like heaven. That yeah. looks like a video game. I know. I think it's it's supposed to look something like that, but it's supposed to be. It tells the story of two graffiti artists who fall in love in the time of war. So, I have no idea. I have no idea. But that's a thing. Do you like that concept? Not really. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've read a decent amount of comic books, and I just feel like, you know, if you're a Coldplay fan, this will be really cool for you. And if there's a very small gap, maybe between the overlap of comic book fans and Coldplay fans. Yeah. So it's an interesting demographic. Maybe a good time to be a graffiti artist, though, is during war. Because yeah. they have, like, bigger fish to fry. They do. Yeah, you used to be the big badasses you had to watch out for in the street with the graffiti artists. But now you're fine. Now they're running wild. You can just fall in love. Everything's getting tagged. <laughs> so don't worry about right it. Right before it gets bombed. Maybe they're predicting something. Well, um, I'm, I'm proud of Coldplay, I guess. We'll have to check it out. You it's guys check cool. it out. Looks, yeah, definitely. It looks very cool. We'll be watching it. Yeah. Darius Rucker of, you know, of Darius Rucker, but also of Hootie and the Blowfish, right. was invited to join the Opry, and his wife told the boot that he's still, like, emotional about it, which I thought was kind of cute. He can't believe it. He can't believe it at all. Yeah, he went from Hootie to Opryland yeah. in a few short years. He did. He's proved his place in the, in the hearts and minds of country music fans, though. It's kind of cool, though. Because he's, you know, he always had the hoodie, and the, like he still plays a bunch of. So does he? Is he going to do it, or fish? is he just going to keep crying? I don't know. But she said that, <laughs> that she can't believe it, and he can't watch. Like someone sent him the YouTube video of himself, you know, getting the surprise nomination or whatever, the surprise invitation, and he can't watch it without crying. So he just feels really included now. He is stoked. He it's is official. Excited. It's official. So awesome. I'm wondering if when he gets inducted, there's going to have to be some tissues on the stage. Yeah. You know, to keep him from... Just tucked right up here up his sleeve like my granny ready. used to do. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. laughs> he's just ready. He's ready. But I think it's cool that he's, you know, he's that big of a star and he's still excited about it. So... Well, I get, it's he's a huge still affected. Yeah. Yeah. I can see nice. why. I can see why. I would be too. So way to go. Dead Mouse, or as I like to call him, Dead Mouse 5. Uh, you know, a DJ who wears a mouse hat, but I'm not one to judge. He recently had this big spat with Madonna, and my favorite is his quote, which is, dealing with Madonna fans is like farting against thunder. Yeah, that's a terrific it's poetic, quote. really. Yeah, it is poetic. So he's saying, don't even try it. Yeah, it's not if even If you're trying worth it. to get a fart in in a thunderstorm. Doesn't matter. Nobody yeah. can hear it. 
Well, you can. <laughs> you can. Well, he can. He obviously has. He may have tried this before. I don't even understand what the whole rift is about. They, like, got into a, a smack talk some thing. sort of smack talk thing. They're and probably she... dating. And Madonna's like, the best way for you to get publicity, <laughs> dead mouth five, dead is, mouth. Dead mouth is to, if you and I have a, a, a spat. Yeah. He said also that there's no such thing as, against winning against 10 million idiots. So now he's calling our fans idiots, which I'm just like, really? Really, these whole public feud. I would not fight with Madonna. I would not. No, she's just. I think that's smart. She's got a lot of things up her sleeve. She's been doing this a while. (laughs) More than just more than tissues. More than just dairy. (laughs) Darius Records used to. to That's how Madonna works. That's how Madonna works. And she's holding a gun. That picture. She is holding a gun. It's It's terrifying. What is going on there? I don't know. It's probably her from one of her shows. She's probably shooting people. Who knows? So. With confetti guns. I don't know. Something Madonna <laughs> would do. Highlights magazine cover. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hey, kids. Uh, so Peter Chris from KISS, fun to say, yeah. he is writing a book, or he wrote his book. It's called Make Up to Break Up, My Life in and Out of KISS. And you can actually read some of the excerpts on Rolling Stone. But So that's coming out. It's a great photo here. It's insane tales of hard partying and suicidal depression. So it's a fun thing to read for the holidays. I mean... Turns out spending 30 years in heavy pancake makeup leads to male depression. Yeah. Well, we little did we know. Meow. <laughs> no, he was. always dressed like a kitty cat? Yeah, he was like the, the cat. They all have like their different symbols. But okay. I just, I'm like, he really committed to that. But, you know... He just you can read all about his life, you can read all about everything and look so, at that shot. That's I know. the actual Peter Chris. Yeah. Circa somewhere in the late nineties at least. Yeah, looks rocking like. those drums. The Railroad Revival Tour. I was really stoked about this. Had Willie Nelson, Band of Horses, Jamie Johnson. It's cancelled. That would have been a phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. tour. Yeah. And they don't really give us any good explanation for why it's canceled. Nope. They just say that it didn't basically work out. Yeah. <laughs> they said that it was determined that certain complications, don't know what those are, yeah. would not permit them to host the shows in the manner intended. So I don't know. I don't know if like there was some, you know, like a big circus show supposed to happen. They couldn't book you know the what elephant. All of that is the business, <laughs> music business lingo for. Yeah. There was a money problem. Probably. Probably so. so or they were going to states where... Willie was not allowed to smoke weed. Those Probably. are my two guesses. One that's, and two on what happened. Yeah, those yeah. are those are pretty good guesses. Either one of those are no go. Not happening. Yeah, no but show. But so re- you get refunds if you already bought tickets. Um, but it's just kind of sad because I think that would have been a really cool show. And the yeah. Railroad Revival they did last year, they all arrive on like a train and they play at all these different railroad stops. Like what? Edward Sharp did it last year. It was really cool. Wow. So it would have been a really neat thing, especially Willie Nelson. I mean, when you think of train stop concerts, you can't help but think of Willie Nelson, right? Yeah, I know. So I think it would have been really neat, but so that's canceled. So if you had it on your calendar, take it off. Put something more <laughs> awesome on instead. Have a moment of mourning, though. But last story of the day, Kelly Pick. Uh, left has left Sony, and she's Sony Universal. And now she's signed with Black River Entertainment, which is this really small label here in town. Yeah, this so is big news. It's big local really news. big news. They, they landed a big star. Yeah. In Kelly Pickler. Yeah. They have so, a few other artists. They have Sarah Darling mm-hmm. and uh, Craig, Craig Morgan. Morgan and Glenn Templeton and, Glenn Templeton. and, and Due West. And that's pretty much it. And so now, now and, she's and, their fifth one. And she's made them all shave their heads. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, because she shaved her head. Now for that I'm at Black River, friend. this is the new look. <laughs> this is the new look. She still looks great, but there's her signing the, you know, signing the papers, making it official. It but is that's official. Exciting news. Her. I think being a big fish in a small pond on a, on a little indie like that, she's going to get a lot of love. I'm interested to see how her career does after this. Because yeah. I've heard her off and on. She's never been, you know, she, I know she has like a really loyal fan base and she's just precious. You know, people yeah. just love her. Yeah. But I'm just interested to see kind of where she goes from here. So, I don't know. Yeah, but well, it could really make Black River take off as well. Because, I mean, it was just, what, the other day that Big Machine signed this girl named Taylor Swift, and now they're, like, a giant. So I remember I the days. Know. Yeah. I don't know. It's good. But it's exciting news in Nashville. It is exciting. For always a small label. So. Yeah. Thanks for watching, though. Thanks for standing by with us on Music Business Daily. That's right. We're going to be right back here tomorrow. So Indeed. keep it locked right here at Talkopolis. Exactly. See Bye. you next time. Microcasting for your city. Talkopolis.